What up, it's Chris from LaserLemming.com and today the big word on the street is that Microsoft is being pressured by its investors to ditch the Xbox brand. And uh, this is serious because Microsoft has a new CEO, I'm not even going to pretend like I remember what his name is, uh, but he's the new guy in charge, Steve Ballmer's out, and he's feeling the pressure from investors to get rid of three things, which is uh, Xbox, Bing, and uh, Surface, which is Microsoft's tablets division. Microsoft is a big company. They've been spending billions and billions of dollars on all three of these things. Uh, especially and specifically the Xbox. We're going to be talking about the Xbox because, huh, gaming channel. So, the Xbox division has been burning money, just burning billions of dollars ever since its inception. Microsoft kind of thought that when they got into this... Uh, console gaming uh, space that they could just kind of throw money at problems and uh, just buy their way to victory. And that was especially true with the first Xbox. They just spent a ton of money, created a big ugly box with a big ugly controller and said, hey, you're going to buy this because it's the most powerful system out there. It's fucking sweet. You're going to love it. And it wasn't so much of the case. Microsoft had to drop uh, the console by a hundred bucks uh, within the first, I think, six months. And... Uh, that's a lot of money because Microsoft was losing money. I don't think they ever made any kind of profit on the first Xbox. They lost billions of dollars on that. Now with the Xbox 360, Microsoft planned to get in there and say, hey, we're going to make a lot of money this time. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be the real deal. That's why they dropped the first Xbox within four years. It was a short lifespan. People, a lot of people don't remember that. that. The first Xbox was kind of a short console lifespan. It was only four years old. Microsoft ditched it. They, after the Xbox 360 came out, they made no attempt to uh, create any more new Xboxes. They were sick of losing money. This is fact. So with the Xbox 360, the idea was to come in and make a lot of money. However, however, during this time, a lot of uh, console technology, the technology that they used was very expensive, and they had to sell the Xbox 360 at a loss. That's why they introduced this whole, uh, which is now a prevalent idea, but the whole two skews, which was they had the, the Xbox 360, uh, what do they call it, the Pro or the Elite or something like that. And that came with the hard drive. And then the other one, which they eventually became the, uh, they called it the Core one, I think. And then eventually the Arcade. And that didn't have a hard drive. That was just the basic whatever. And that was, the, the Core one, the Core SKU was $300. And that was eventually, that was, before that, that was kind of like the standard pricing of a new console. And the uh, Pro Elite kind of paved the way for a more expensive console. That was a $400 system. And today we look at a new $400 system like, wow, that's cheap, that's awesome. It's not so awesome because it's expensive. And uh, like we saw now that the Xbox One is a $500 system. And it's still not making any money. So let's get back onto the Xbox 360 for a second. Microsoft lost billions of dollars on the Xbox, the first Xbox. We can't call it the Xbox One anymore because, you know. So, they lost billions of dollars. And where did that money go to? It went to R&D, which is research and development. It went to production because they used expensive parts. And um, that was the first Xbox. That was the big money sink. What happened with the Xbox 360? Well, like I said, it was expensive technology. So it cost a lot of money. Microsoft was selling these consoles at a loss, which meant they were spending more money to make these consoles than they were for people that were buying them. So they were trying to pretty much get it into the living room. Sony had the same problem with the PlayStation 3, only much more so. They lost hundreds of dollars on the PlayStation 3 at launch. But, getting back to the Xbox 360, where else did they lose money? Well, besides that, how about this? The Xbox 360s were dying like, they were dropping like flies. They were dying like, um old people. So, that was a big problem. That was a big problem that Microsoft kind of turned a blind eye to. They had rushed the Xbox 360 to get out. So, here's another way they were losing money. They had spent billions of dollars on R&D on this thing to get it out. Like I said, it was only four years for, uh, before they killed off the first Xbox because they wanted to get the Xbox 360 out because they needed to get a profit going. This was a new division and a lot of people that were in charge of this at Microsoft needed to prove themselves. They needed to prove that this division was worth keeping, which is what this video is about right now because the Xbox division is on the line again. So they were losing a lot of money on this Xbox 360 thing. And so what did they do? Like I said, they were turning a blind eye pretending, hey, uh, things break. It's not that big of a deal. It's a very small percentage minority, whatever. So what happened? 
Eventually, shit hit the fan and Microsoft had to acknowledge this huge hardware design flaw problem they had. These Xbox 360s were overheating. That red ring of death was no joke. So, what they did was they said, okay, we have to own up to this. We have to save this brand. So, they offered people a three-year warranty on these things, which cost Microsoft billions and billions of dollars, pretty much negating any possible profit they would ever make on the Xbox 360, which they were already losing a lot of money on in the first place. So, <clears throat> a little bit of bronchitis still. So, let's look at this now. Let's look at this big picture here. The Xbox 360 was designed to make money. It didn't so much. But it was such a costly adventure that Microsoft uh, dragged out the generation. They went in the opposite direction with the Xbox 360 that they did with the first Xbox. The first Xbox, they just killed. They said, hey, we're losing money. Let's, uh, let's end this. Let's just move on. Xbox 360 said, they said, we lost so much money on the first Xbox, we can't afford to do that again. So instead, they lengthened the generation. They went from a, four, a five to six year generation all the way to eight years plus because the Xbox 360 is still going. It's still thriving right now. In fact, it's probably doing better than the new current, uh, current gen consoles. So, like I said, getting back to the point here, the Xbox division is on the line along with being in Surface. So, uh, this, uh, this new CEO of Microsoft has to answer to these investors. And that is a big deal because Microsoft is a publicly traded company, which means investors, especially key investors that have large stakes in the company, do have uh, an opinion that's worthwhile to Microsoft, meaning they can call a lot of shots. So, this Xbox division either has to uh, thrive and uh, uh, create this ultimate answer that shows that it's worth having, or they're going to have to cut it or uh, sell the division off to someone else. Now, if that happens, it's a big deal because some other large company, because a large company would have to be the company that paid for the Xbox division, uh, would have sudden major influence in the industry because although the Xbox division is a sinking ship of money, it has swing in this industry because Microsoft was able to effectively buy their way into this industry. It's not a cheap industry to get into, and Microsoft, of all companies, had the cash to do it. And they had a lot of stumbles along the way, uh, but they eventually kind of got their footing and now are a big part of this industry, and a lot of gamers consider themselves Xbox gamers. So, another company would definitely be very interested in doing this. So, like I said, it could be Amazon, it could be Samsung, it could be Panasonic, for all you know. It could be some company that is interested in getting into this division. And I can see a lot of companies that would want to get into this division uh, that could buy this. So, you might see uh, Xbox One buy Amazon or something like that. And another company that does this is probably going to have maybe a different, slightly skewed version of, or vision of what they think the Xbox brand should be. And I'd like to know what your thoughts are on that. Do you think that another company buying Microsoft's uh, Xbox division is a good thing? Do you think that they could uh, possibly uh, make some key changes, some important changes that you weren't seeing with Microsoft? Maybe a little bit less microtransactions? A little bit more microtransactions? You think they'd adjust the live feed? Do you think they'd get rid of the Xbox live feed altogether? Let me know in the comment section below because I think this is some very interesting stuff and I want to know your opinion on it. Let's talk about it. Anyway, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Also, I got a comedy channel. Please check that out as well. Very funny stuff. I'll see you in the next one.